Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, this is my updated verdict on the ML830 Amplified Magnetic Loop Antenna, Chinese made for roughly 40, 50 ish US dollars, and compared to the W6 LVP loop, which is almost 10 times more expensive, and uh, kind of my own personal observations of uh, both antennas and also we'll uh, kind of um, add a uh, little comment on the Wellbrooks because I've seen a few people testing the Wellbrooks also and uh, that made me uh, of course uh, realize that uh, first of all the Wellbrook and the W6 LVP loop which are both very expensive loops do uh, perform pretty much the same as antennas and that also means that um, I can kind of you know tell you that if I compare this to the W6 LVP you can probably think that it is pretty much the same with the Wellbrook although the Wellbrook might have a little bit of different characteristics and performance but not big enough to really, you know, uh, make any difference. What I've noticed with the Wahlberg versus W6 LVP is that the uh, videos that I've seen and the people that have tested both say there is a, a small difference, but very small difference between both. Uh, so I've been testing, of course, the uh, MLA30 and the W6 LVP for a while now. What I observe is that, first of all, the performance of the MLA30 is so close to the W6 LVP loop that it's not worth it to purchase a W6 LVP loop or an expensive loop. You're getting as good a performance overall on the MLA30. The um, difference above about 15 or 16 megahertz, I noticed that the W6 LVP loop is a little better. Below 15 megahertz, the, the MLA30 loop is a little better. So that means if you put in perspective of a general, you know, 0 to 30 megahertz performance, they pretty much equal themselves or the performance is so, the difference in performance is so small that it's not really um, worth it to... Uh, to buy an expensive loop, honestly. If I would go back in time and have one loop to buy, I'd buy the MLA30 and probably rather buy two or three of them than purchase the W6 LVP, which is much more expensive. And, you know, I'd have ch change left to uh, buy an, another radio or buy other stuff. So, you know, um, it's not a question of... Uh, a lot of people are, you know, like I get rant from people saying, well, you know, you're, uh, you know, talking about Chinese stuff. It's like, you know what? I understand the basics of what people are saying when, you know, I talk about a Texan receiver or I talk about a receiver that comes from China. But the overall thing is you got to keep money in your pocket also at the same time. And that is um, why I just can't tell anybody to buy an expensive loop when the MLA30 performs so well. So overall verdict, the MLA30, slightly better than the W6, below 15 megahertz. The W6 LVP, slightly better than the MLA30, above 15 megahertz, 16 megahertz. But the difference is too small to uh, really have an impact, and for the most part, the MLA30 is just great. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.